Okay, we're going to start reading Twilight this week, so I thought I would give us a short introduction. Uh, here is the now very famous cover image, uh, the black and white hands holding the bright red apple. Um, I think this might um, be a religious image of uh, the forbidden fruit from the Garden of Eden from the Bible. So uh, if, you, um, if you know anything about the Bible, you might know that the uh, apple from the tree of knowledge of good and evil is uh, forbidden to the first humans, Adam and Eve. So I think that this is supposed to be symbolic of the, fidden, the forbidden fruit, the thing that you should not eat. Um, as we talked about in class, this is a story about vampires in um, America, in the state of Washington, in a small town called Forks. So I'm going to read about the first eight pages of this, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of a discussion uh, or commentary about it. So let's begin. The first chapter is called First Sight. First Sight is the first time that you see something. Uh, we have a famous uh, English expression, love at first sight. If your girlfriend or boyfriend, the very first time you see them, if you are instantly in love with them, we say that it is love at first sight. Oops, went a little too quickly there. Here we go. First sight. My mother drove me to the airport with the windows rolled down. It was 75 degrees in Phoenix, the sky a perfect cloudless blue. I was wearing my favorite shirt, sleeveless, Weiss eyelet lace. I was wearing it as a farewell gesture. My carry-on item was a parka. In the Olympic Peninsula of Northwest Washington State, a small town named Forks exists under a near-constant cover of clouds. It rains on this inconsequential town more than any other place in the United States of America. It was from this town and its gloomy, omnipresent shade that my mother escaped with me when I was only a few months old. It was in this town that I'd been compelled to spend a month every summer until I was 14. That, sorry, 